Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I knew I couldn't leave my review alone. I wanted to do a part two of the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collection because I used the entire collection in the traditional way that it's supposed to be used, but I was feeling so inspired by the products that I just wanted to use them in a little bit more of an unconventional way to create a different style of look. Here's the look right now. You can see how it turned out. So you'll see I utilized some of the highlights on the eyes. I utilized some of the eyeshadow shadows as blushes. I really wanted to see the versatility in this collection, create a different look for you guys than what I did. But if you miss it, I did do a full review on this collection. I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested in seeing that. The look in that video was also stunning if I do say so myself. But without further ado, let's get to playing, shall we? So I'm sitting here editing this and I'm like, the looks look the same. Both <laughs> both looks that I did kind of look the same. But the techniques and the products I used are different. I use them in different ways. If anything, this was a way for me to test out using the products in different ways and seeing how versatile they are in that way. But color story wise, it's not that versatile apparently or I'm uncreative. But anyways, it's it's still worth watching, I promise you. <laughs> we play around with the products in different ways on different places. So for the look, I wanted to do something a little bit more icy. I wanted to, the blue to be all over my eyelid. So let me show you. I just wish there was like a matte baby blue in this palette or a navy. One or the two or both. But I'm committed to staying within these colors. So I'm going to start off with a fluffy Alamar Cosmetics brush. And we're going into this shade right here. And I don't really care too much about this shade. I just want a little pinky haze. Because I think it will be pretty. Because I want to use this as a blush as well. So I do think it will be pretty just for cohesion purposes. To have this kind of as that transition shade. So I don't need it to be too prominent or anything in the look. But I'm just going to blend it out. And you can blend it out pretty well if you want but this shade doesn't give like a ton of color so it's great just for a really simple wash with a bk beauty 202 we're going into this shade this is such a pretty matte it's quite plummy and i'm going to start off by focusing this in the outer corner then i'm going to use the tip of this brush this is why i like this brush because you can get a little bit more precise than you think i'm going to use those windshield wiper motions and i'm going to blend it in the crease and then blend the eyeshadow out just like this also going to take that along my lower lash line as well I love that this shade is a little bit more cool. Next up, I'm going to take my Pat McGrath Labs Intensifies Artistry Wand. So this is essentially like a mixing medium, but you can use a glitter glue, whatever you have. You don't need to have this. But I am putting it all over my lid because I want the lid colors to be nice and bright. Okay, this is the part that I've been waiting for. I've been wanting to use this shadow for this purpose. So this is actually the highlight. This is the Divine Glow Highlighter in the shade incandescent gold and this just to me it's screaming to be used on the eyelid so I'm going to use a denser brush this is an Esom W21 and I am just going to place this literally all over the lid now when you pack it onto the lid you'll see it's quite gold there's a strong gold shift but how pretty is this all over the lid and then also while we're at it just sneak it into the inner corner because this will work as our highlight today just like that you can even leave the look here i think it's so pretty but pat didn't add a blue for no reason and i want to place the blue over top so the reason why I chose to use this as a base for the blue is because the blue is more of a lid topper anyways. So I wanted an icy underlayer to keep everything feeling brighter in this eye. So next I'm going in with my finger and we're going into Regency Blue, which is that glittery blue that I talked about. You can see how it has more of a sheer base. And I'm just going to pop this right on top. I just think that this is so pretty layered on top. And having that icy base just kind of awakens the eye and keeps the look nice and bright. I feel like though it's experimentation time so I'm gonna actually wet my brush I just put that blitz shade on my brush and we might as well just go in with it so I normally don't apply my shadows wet but this particular video I just wanted to see the true capacity of this palette so that's what we're gonna do 
and you can see if you wet it, it is even more blue. So essentially, the stick I used helped the white stick be more vibrant, and then the wet brush is gonna help the blue be more vibrant. I'm also taking some of the blue, and I'm running it all along the inner half of my lower lash line right on top of the matte shade. These two also layer really good on top of each other. If I hadn't used the highlight as my base, I would have used the darker matte shade all over my eyelid because I think those two would be pretty layered on top of one another as well. Okay, and then just to finish up the eyes, we're going back into that matte shade and I'm just going to redefine the outer corner. So I'm definitely going to use some of Celeste from Gucci, which is a light baby blue pastel eyeliner in my water line. And then I'm going to keep everything else pretty light and then we'll be back for the cheeks. All right, so here is the look with liner and lashes. So special trick. Like I said, I used the Gucci Celeste liner in the water line. It's like a baby blue. And then I actually used a navy liner. And like I said, this palette needed a navy. I just think the navy liner looks so good. So this is the ColourPop liquid liner in CRZY crazy and it's really cute I also just did a little inner corner wing to make my eyes look a little bit more elongated and then I have I don't know Yas Queen Lashes by Lily Lashes I don't think you can get these anymore but love the eye look but I did want to move into the cheeks and one of the things I've been looking most forward to trying was using these two baked gelée formulas from the Bridgerton palette yeah these just seem like blushes to me they're very very sheer on the eyelid as you saw in the beginning and I've just been envisioning seeing how these work on the cheek. So I'm gonna use a rougher number four brush. I'm gonna start off with the lighter one. I'm trying to stay away from the Blitz Astral shade. We'll see how that goes, but I have it coated on my brush and I'm gonna focus it towards the back of my cheek. And um, I'd even argue that this is prettier on the cheek than it is on the eyes. She did originally say, I don't know if you remember this, but it's an eye and face palette. So of course I've been imagining using this as a blush. And honestly, I prefer using this shade in this fashion. You know, if you didn't want to get the blush palette in this collection, like you can absolutely use this because this is a similar shade to the pinks here. This is from the collection. So, I mean, I suppose they're different. So this is from the blush palette. This is the lighter of the pink shades in the eye palette. This is the darker. They're different, but nonetheless, like you're getting a pink look on your cheek with both of these. So this is just with a little bit of that lighter pink. How pretty is that? And do you see what I mean why I wanted the pink to pop through? Because now it's blending in seamlessly with the blush. And I just want to try the darker one just for fun. I mean, I think this is better probably if you have a more rich skin tone than me. I'm going to focus that towards the back. So this one is a little bit too pink for me, a little bit too bright. I prefer the lighter one. But this is literally like a baked gelée blush. This darker shade though, I am having a little bit of a harder time blending. So be very, very careful with that. It's doable there as I expected. I'm really happy about that. Now for highlight, we're gonna kind of do what we did on the eyes, but with our cheeks. So we're starting off with the incandescent gold highlight. This is beautiful. Now the other highlight, Extreme Gold 002. As much as I wanted to incorporate it into this look, it just is too gold. You know, I wanted the look to lean a little bit more pinky and icy. So you can leave the highlight here. I think that this is so stunning. This is such a pretty ice queen winter type of look. But we're gonna amp it up. I'm gonna see how this looks. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna use the Blitz Astral shade, Regency Blue. And this is gonna get glitters on your face. So if you don't want glitters, don't do this. But I'm just gonna put it right on top. And yeah, it does add a little bit of iciness to the look. And I think it really completes the look. If you're into this kind of makeup, because like I said, there's some glitter on my cheeks now. But I think just because of what we have going on the eyelid can totally pass. I wouldn't put on too much. Starting to look a little frostbit with that second layer. So be careful. But just a hint of that blue I think is super duper pretty. This is what I've been envisioning and I still have other looks that I can see myself creating with this collection. 
But I've been wanting to do something more icy and blue, honestly. I almost would take away the pink next time and just have the blue all over the lid and forget the pink. I think that would be pretty too, but I did just want to use it again. For lips, I'm just going to use Pat McGrath Labs Lip Liner in Buff. It's just a pinky shade. And let's just fill in the lips. Whatever pinky shade you have, this is honestly a little bit peachier than I wanted it to be. But, okay, I have two lip glosses that would go perfect with the look. If we want to stick true to the theme, Astral Moon. Flower. I mean, this is what I'm gonna do because how fun. But I also have Gold Allure, which looks like a lip gloss version of the highlight. But let's see how actual. Wow. This is fun. This is a little bit more out of my comfort zone. It almost looks purple against this lip liner. Hmm, how fun. Ooh, and then I'm gonna actually top it off with a little bit of Gold Allure. <gasps> I love Pat's glosses, they're the best. How fun, I love that. All right, let me get myself together and I will be back to show you the final look. All right guys, so we have completed the look. I really love this one. I think it's very, very pretty. Again, I mean, I feel like the colors in this collection are limited, but at the same time, there are so many different ways that I want to utilize and layer the colors that we got. But this one is a fun one. I definitely wanted to do one with the blue all over the eyelid to be the star here. And I am very, very happy with how it turned out. So let me know your thoughts down below. Did you pick up this collection? Have you been having fun creating looks. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found that helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.